Good afternoon. My name is Petra Butler, and uh, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you in the name of my co-organizers and the sponsors to what will be undoubtedly a very interesting and insightful day and a half. Well, in my experience, it is not very often that a conference is opened by someone who has actually no apparent connection to the host. An imposter like me. And so I would actually like to draw now the appearance aid, um, or I talk about the myth here, because I would like to take a, use this point in time to uh, take the opportunity to wholeheartedly thank Wilma Cutler, Pickering, Hale, and Doer for not only sponsoring and hosting this conference and for providing organizational support in form of Oliver White and Sharon Ward, who have, and I'm sure you agree with me on that, done a fantastic job. Um, but they also provided me with physical and more importantly, uh, intele an intellectual home last year as their scholar in residence. And I had an amazing time. And this conference <coughs> is a child of my time as scholar in residence. So, uh, behind me, you see a map of small states, and I'm happy to report that all sm small states regions will be represented at this conference. We think of small states as states with a population of under 1.5 million. These countries vary greatly in their level of development and the size of their economies. Despite their diversity, these countries share a common set of development challenges, which we'll, we will explore in part in the next day and a half. So to just set the scene with a bit more statistics, one fourth of the World Bank members are small states. They together have a population of just over 30 million, a combined GDP of about 108 bil 180 billion, and their inflation rate is about 2%. However, we should not forget that they at least theoretically have a lot of political power. Their vote in the UN counts as much as the vote of every Goliathal state. Together, small states have 20% of the vote in the UN. And if you compare that with the EU states, they only have 14.5% of votes. So on that note, I would like to ha hand over to our keynote panel and the chair, Stephen Finizio.